The Beera three-phase cable identifier is a new tool designed to identify individual conductors in three-phase overhead, underground, URD, and station cable installations. The three-phase ID can be used for phasing open conductors, positively identify cable, and for testing a line clear of grounds. In addition, this tool will eliminate the uncertainty of not knowing the location of the transmitter, improving the accuracy and creating a safer workspace. The ability to work with multiple sets of grounds installed reduces the need for coordination for both IDing and phasing, resulting in time savings. The three-phase ID works by transmitting a low-voltage signal on the phase conductors. The device comes in a kit which includes a signal sending unit or transmitter, a digital audio-visual receiver, a CT clamp, two 18-volt batteries, and a charger. It also includes four different standard sets of cable adapters, ball sockets, alligator clips, C-clamps, and elbow adapters. The kit can also come with an optional set of straps to temporarily secure the transmitter to utility pole for overhead installations. Prior to use, be sure to test the transmitter for proper operation, test both batteries to ensure they are fully charged, and inspect all leads for physical damage. Follow all procedures to ensure the conductors to be ID'd or phased or de-energized and isolated. This can be accomplished by using the Bira True RMS PD50 or PD25 all-purpose utility phasing meters. When ready to identify the cables, the grounds must be removed from the location where the transmitter will be set up. This helps improve signal strength. Position the transmitter in a suitable spot in the work area. Attach each test lead to its corresponding color matched receptacle on the transmitter. Make sure the arrow is facing up and turn clockwise 90 degrees to lock each lead into place. Connect the leads to the electrical equipment starting with the green ground cable first. Connect red on phase 1 or A, yellow on phase 2 or B, and blue on phase three or C. Turn a device on and two sets of colored LEDs will cycle continuously. If everything is connected properly, the continuity lights for each phase will illuminate and remain solid as the corresponding pulse lights flash. One flash for red or A phase, two flashes for yellow or B phase, and three flashes for blue or C phase. To verify the receiver is functioning properly, install the receiver CT clamp onto any one of the conductors with the CT clamp red arrow facing away from the sending unit or transmitter. The DAVR has two indicators for pulse verification, an audible beep and an LED flash. For the red or A phase, there is one beep and one flash. For the yellow or B phase, there's two beeps and two flashes. And for the blue or C phase, there's three beeps and three flashes. In the field at the location of the receiver, place the CT clamp around the first cable to be identified. Again, the CT clamp must be oriented with the red arrow pointing away from the transmitter. If the CT clamp is oriented incorrectly, i.e. the red arrow is pointing towards the sender or transmitter, the DAVR will do one of two things. Number one, it will not emit a beep or a flash. Number two, the other two phases will emit their corresponding beeps and flashes. In other words, even if the operator mistakenly orients the CT clamp incorrectly, there will either be no indication or, through the process of elimination, the operator can still quickly determine the, their mistake or the correct ID or phase. Readjust the CT clamp so the signals propagate properly. The operator should always begin with the sensitivity adjustment in the lowest setting and adjust until the signal is clear. With the sensitivity level adjusted properly, identify or phase each cable. Then label or mark each cable accordingly. When using the receiver and CT clamp on an energized cable carrying a load, the CT clamp may be difficult to remove. If this happens, turn the DAVR potentiometer to zero Wait several seconds and then remove the CT clamp from the cable. When working underground with cut cable, start by setting up the transmitter or sender at a location with known phases. In a manhole or ditch, install a jumper from the center conductor to be tested to ground. Next, 
Place the CT clamp around the jumper cable and using the DAVR determine the phase. Proceed through all the cables to be tested and again mark or label each cable accordingly. After the work is complete and the lines are ready to be re-energized, the operator can use the three-phase ID to confirm all grounds have been lifted or removed when the continuity lights are no longer illuminated. When used properly, the Vera three-phase cable identifier is an invaluable tool that will dramatically increase safe work practices and eliminate the need for complicated coordination efforts. If you have any questions or would like to see a live demonstration, please call us at 803-786-4839 or email us at customer underscore service at Stay safe and have a great day.